Uh, the Igbo man has reiterated that they are not going to be part of any protest because it is going to turn tribal. Let's get a reaction. Yes, that is true. Igbo man arrived from on site. Uh, uh, we made our stance clear. We don't want to join any protest. One, number one issue is blood, waste of blood. If they are, you know, concluded on uh, going bloody, do you understand, against protesters, uh, each and every Nigerian security uh, personnel or officers, uh, they will make up their mind to shoot the Igbos. Igbos are the persons of the interest among the whole crowds. Every policeman, every soldier man, every soldier in Nigeria are looking for Igbo man to kill. Because they know that they are the best if you talk about anything. Any protest that Igbo man has hand in or started by an Igbo man it's going to last and it's going to be very, very effectual in terms of getting good results. So, which is why if we are gathering in Nigeria today, they will turn it tribal that they are IPOB, indigenous people of Biafra, kill all of them. So, that's why we are, we are, we are maintaining our stance. You could see what happened during uh, labor protests when Labor Nigeria NL, Labor Congress NLC came on the street of Lagos, Abuja. They go everywhere in Nigeria. The Igbos retracted, retreated. They said no. They won't protest. Because you can see what happened to the J-Switch. You can see what happened to the people that covered the NSAS protest and made the information clear, well known to the whole world. They are Igbos. They are good on everything. So, soldier man, every Nigerian soldier, the military, would like to use that as a common balance to kill Igbo man. See, let me tell you, if protests are going on well in the Southwest, and nobody was, you know, brought down by blood or with blood, I'm telling you, way back, then Southeastern Nigeria, Nigeria, Igbo youths are going to die. Because if they protest, police will be shooting at sight. Not rubber blood, but lead, hot lead. So we don't want anything that will orchestrate bloodletting in the southeastern Nigeria because it's going to be more devastating. Nigerian government, they hate us. You can see what is going on presently. Many of them are having field days. Field day. Eating the internal cake, stealing money, embezzling money. Even man is not there. How many are there? Having small number of numbers of them that are there are being very, very friendly and uh, decisively doing whatever they are doing with their other tribes, other counterparts in Nigeria. So it's our culture, it's our tradition. We know whom we are. We know how they take or regard Igbo man in Nigeria. I'm even inviting Igbos, imploring them not to protest, please. They will know you. They will shoot you. Any protest in our nature will go bloody. Unless if they are protesting in Igbo land, Men should join them. If men join them, that is when I would like it. So any protest outside Igbo land, Igbo man should stay put at home. We told our Yoruba brothers, they said no, that Tinubu is their brother. Tinubu has now messed up. Yoruba should go and protest. I like this question you asked me because I do not start criticizing Yoruba on my own. It is the way the question uh, 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 was, you know, prepared and the true, true to me. So as you threw this question to me, I would answer it the way it should be. The other bands that are playing tribal politics, they should go and protest. When I was responding with uh, Flip TV, I know how we were divided, even on the comment sessions. The other bands that are in abroad, not all of them, oh, there are good Yoruba, so I'm not accusing everybody. The other bands that are in abroad, they are divided, attacking Igbos on comment session that we are after Tinubu. Is Tinubu a human being? A man of 100 years, an old man that is not held. They allow this old man to be ruling Nigeria. Today, you see the result. He's an old man. He's planning to achieve 50 50 naira to every household in Nigeria. Thereby, what? Over inflating naira in circulation. Over inflation. It's going to be hyper, super inflation this time around. Because he doesn't know. Economy he doesn't have what it takes. To run an economy, it doesn't even employ good materials. Employ people based on confessional basis. People that help him to rig the election are the people that are surrounded. He brought all around him.
in government. Most of the public office holders are dwindlers, embezzlers, scammers. That's why you see the economy crumbled. And there are still many, many Nigerians that have not seen anything wrong in this regime. They are blaming the youth. They are blaming Nigerians. Huh? So let me tell you, you must are not protesting you know, for information. I pray, I pray other tribes should protest. We have tried. We've gone a longer way than any other tribe in Nigeria. Look at Biafra agitation. We are doing well, so peacefully. And the federal government still orchestrated what was called the largest genocide in Igbo history in the south eastern Nigeria. Youths dying on daily basis. Yoruba to go and protest. Yoruba is the cause of this regime. Yoruba, they said, Tinubu is theirs. Not all Yoruba, but when they are 1 million Yoruba, 950,000 Yoruba, it is Yoruba. So Yorubas that did not support Tinubu, they should just be what? Licking their wound. When one finger soiled oil, the rest of them will touch the, it will touch the rest oil. Even uh, among us that are respondents here, don't you see what Kunle's opinion is saying? Because I know that most of us in America, they must watch this interview. Kunle's opinion, Kunle is still supporting Tinubu. What somebody that went to school, if actually that guy graduated in the university, is still supporting. So what are you saying? And this kind of thing is too annoying and inflating. It inflates. You support evil and you expect evil man to come and protest so that they will shoot evil man dead. Some of them who voted the peace today, they are, they are licking the, their wounds. So, Oga, that protest, evil man is not going to protest. If you ask me, I'm going to go to the one we are protesting in the southeastern Nigeria, we are, we are doing it peacefully. Still, Nigerian soldier military forces has the infantry, the courage to shoot, shooting youths at sight. So I think uh, it will spell doom for Ibo man to align with the Yorubas in protest. Yes, I think sir. no. Yes, the president has not, has not uh, said anything about reducing or negotiating with Nambukano. Uh, yes, we know that he's a tribal man. I don't need to hide it here. I'm not afraid of anybody. I've been saying it from the one that Tribu is mo one of the most tribalized Nigerian. Nigerian. He hates the Igbos. Igbos properties are being bulldozed and destroyed in Lagos State. Not the whole Southwest, especially Lagos State, because it's only Lagos State that he has a say. Tinubu can never go take it and spoil Igbo man which property make it. The people will hold him responsible. But in Lagos State, where Igbo man has built the economy of this Lagos State, Tinubu is not yet happy with Lagos State. Igbos. Negotiation Igbos, Tinubu is not happy with us. That's why his boy, Samuelu, his the other boy, Fachola, we are busy demolishing Igbo man's property. See, let me tell you, he's not going to negotiate in Nandekano's release. Nandekano is coming out by force. All this while, I will be believing all my mind is in the platform that is joining, holding the whole League of Nations. That is United Nations Organization. They are the one that is coming, not Tinubu. Tinubu hates Igbos with passion. It has played out. Okay, that's why we did not vote in. Even next 2027, we are not voting for Tinubu. Okay, we are not casting votes for him. You can't intimidate Igbos. Okay, tomorrow, if Tinubu is sharing one, one million so that we vote, I will collect the one million. It is my money. Our natural resources money. I will not go and vote for him. If I go to the polling booth or unit, I vote for my conscience. I'm telling you, if he negotiates now, the Kano, Kano is coming out. If he doesn't negotiate for now, the Kano, Kano is coming out. So what are we saying? Is it highly ethnicized man from Yoruba land? His name is Tinubu. I don't miss my word. This man, okay, compared to Buhari, two of them are the same. Continuation is a continuum. Tinubu regime is a continuum. Tinubu, that is uh, Buhari's administration. From Buhari administration to Tinubu administration is some administration. So it's a continuum. From where Tinubu stopped. Uh, from where, sorry, Buhari stopped. It's a continuum. Both administration are the same. That's it. Okay, Niger Delta militants are, are giving uh, uh, the president ultimatum to release Nambi Kano. And I think it expires today. Abi, uh, they should go after those oil installations. 
Yes. What belongs to us belongs to us. That's the African coastal line. That's why Fulani doesn't want to go. That's why Arua, Fulani dominated Arua Forum. Yes. Dominated Arua Forum. Doesn't want to leave Nigeria. Are you listening to me? So they are parasites, parasitism. A situation whereby you lean on something or somebody for life, parasitism, and you are a parasite. I listen to me. That's the kind of life I do. Fulani, they are living there. I don't mean also the Fulani visitors, parasites, searching for gold, searching for meat, searching for grasses to graze from Senegal, Gambia. Mali, everywhere, all over Africa. They don't have a state. They don't have a base. They are nomads. Living all manner of parasitic life. If they don't feed on people's blood, they won't live. Look at Arewa, flying from Sahel country. Talking trash to somebody from coastal of Biafra. People that are dwelling along the coastal, Biafran coastal line. Somebody that comes from desert. Don't you see something there? They are all the Babas. They are from the city of Babas. Barbarians. That's where the word is carved out from. Babas. Yes, Babas. In the northern Africa. I know history. I know what I'm saying. Yes, that's me. Okay? They are bloody people. And whatsoever, howsoever, whichsoever, they want it. Ibo man is going to give it to them. Time to call, bro. Okay? It has started. It doesn't mean say it must be now. It must be now. A journey of many miles starts in a second. Rome was not developed in a day. It takes time to accomplish anything really worthwhile. That is what the spirit ideology of Biafra is. Whatever Fulani wants, they should be doing now. Because when time comes, Noak Shot, the capital of Mauritania, will not contain the whole Fulani in West Africa because they will all go back to their land. Are you listening to me? So what I'm saying is, if he, if he releases Nandi, the Niger Delta militants are there, doing their work. Failure to the, the reason Nandi. That does not remove Niger Deltans from the creeks. That is the ancestral land. It's not Yoruba land. It's not Flaniman land. It's not Nukwes. No Kanures. Which federation? Is it how a federation is being run? Oh, you are still believing in federalism. Go and read their book. Nigeria is not a federal structure. It's not structured as a federal state should be. What are people talking about federalism? Is that is that the definition of federalism? A structure whereby Igbo man cannot come to Lagos State and become an attorney general of Lagos State easily for him. They will criticize and criticize and kill him. Yoruba man cannot go to Anambra and become attorney general of Anambra State. Igbo man will criticize and criticize and kill him. That's how to run a federalism. Can Ibo man go to Zamfara or Yoruba man and become Zamfara Attorney General of Federation? Outside man, Fulani man, Arewa Forum, they will criticize and criticize and kill him. That's not how a federal state should be run. And when we are running a federal state, why must our economy be monolithic? Monolithic, I mean, is based on one, without diversification. Why are we depending on oil? Our economy is monolithic. If we are actually imbibe the spirit of federalism, let go states, there is something here. That Nigerians should be leveraging on cocoa, plywood, bitumen, and other resources. In Anambra says you have natural gas, you have oil, you have palm produce, and other agricultural produce or products, materials that are coming from there. In River State, so it is. And others, likewise, Zamfara, where there is gold, why are they not tapping from the gold? What about what is going on in, in, in Sambisa Forest today that orchestrated Boko Haram? Lithium, Californium, Platinum, uh, 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 many of them. Name them. They, they just based on that oil. Because now the most neglected person is the owner of the oil. That's why they are robbing him of his oil. If that oil could be Medugri, can you just depend on one? Our economy wouldn't have been this monolithic. And someone would have told you to divert to Pankanel. You're about to go, to, go for cocoa. Uh, Calabaman, oh yeah, uh, 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 embark on fishing. I don't want to understand. We have many things to leverage on, on this country. But today, 
We are tapping that oil because that oil is coming from the most neglected region in Nigeria. And we don't dig a If Nigeria wants to be a good country, a big country, let's wait. Let us revert to true federalism. That is what is giving America their glory today. America is the number one because a New York person can go to California and be a governor in California. Somebody from Arkansas can go, can go to the state of New England or Honolulu and become a president there. From somebody from uh, 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 Alaska can go to Virginia and become a governor. It is interwoven. Federalism is not tribalism. What we are running here is a tribal system of government. How do you expect things to work? Tinubu releasing and Nandekano, an Igbo man, Omoibo. Don't you know that that Omoibo is a cause? It's a cause. Omoibo, yeah? It's a cause. Learn it for today. That is a cause. Are you done? Give me a more question now. You are seeing the. Okay, I'm done. Thank you very much. Okay.